Hey everyone, The Simple Dad here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're using the Samsung device running One UI 7.0, especially something like this Galaxy S25 Ultra, you already know the Edge panel is one of the most underrated tool in the system. But did you know you can customize it far beyond the basics? In this video, I'll walk you through six powerful Edge panel customizations from multitasking tips to clean, minimalistic look, and even how to get more icons in there than Samsung usually allows. So whether you're a productivity junkie or just like your phone looking sleek and efficient, this one's for you. So let's get started. The edge panel on your Samsung device is more than just a shortcut tray. It's a productivity powerhouse if you know how to unlock its full potential. In this video, I'll show you six customization tips for making your edge panel smarter, cleaner, and way more useful. So feature number one is where you can drag apps from your edge panel to open in multi-window. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can easily drag an app from your edge panel directly into split screen mode without going through the app switcher. So let me show you how to do this. So here as an example, I've got my edge panel open. So say for example, I want to open up Amazon shopping here in multi-window. So I'll go ahead and drag this out here. So here I can go ahead and open it up in pop-up view. Or if I drag it to the top, I can go ahead and drop it here at the top, or I can drop it here at the bottom. So you can go ahead and choose whatever options you want. I'll drop it at the top. Next, I can go ahead and choose another app, which I want to open at the bottom here. So this way I can basically open these apps from the edge panel in multi window option. You can even open these apps in a pop-up style. So you can basically move it anywhere you like. And by this, you can basically open up multiple windows in pop-up style. So this dramatically speeds up multitasking, letting you run two apps side by side instantly. Great for watching videos while texting or browsing while taking notes. Feature number two is where you can remove the Galaxy AI apps from the edge panel. So by default, One UI 7.0 adds Galaxy AI features like note assist or browsing assist into your edge panel. So if you're not using them, just remove them. So to do this, you wanna first go ahead and bring out the edge panel. Next, tap on this pencil icon. Then you go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right. And now you will see this menu here. Now to remove those Galaxy AI apps, you wanna go ahead and deselect them. So AI select, now brief, drawing assist, and the interpreter. Once you've deselected those Galaxy AI apps, if you go back to your edge panel, you see those AI apps disappear. So this will declutter your edge panel and keep it focused to apps and tools you actually use. So a cleaner interface means less distraction and faster access to your apps. Feature number three is where you can hide the app names for a minimalistic look. So if you want to tidy up your edge panel by removing the text tables underneath your app icons, leaving a clean and icon only display, then let me show you how to do this. So first you want to go ahead and open up the edge panel, tap on the pencil icon. Next tap on the three dots and you will see this option menu here. Here you'll see this option to show app names. Go ahead and turn this feature off, then press home. Now, when you look at your edge panel, you'll see those labels disappear. So this gives your panel a more modern, minimalistic aesthetic and allows more apps to fit on screen. So it's perfect for users who value form and the function. Feature number four is where you can tap to instantly launch apps in multi windows. So if you have apps on your edge panel and you want to just go ahead and tap on them and you want to launch them in multi-window option, then let me show you how to turn on this feature. So instead of dragging apps, you can set apps in your edge panel to open directly in multi-window mode with a single tap. So let me show you how to do this. So first you want to go ahead and open up the edge panel, tap on the pencil icon, then go ahead and tap on the three dots. Now from here, you want to go ahead and find open in split screen view. So currently set to touch and hold. However, you can go ahead and select tap, then press home. Now, when you go ahead and open up any app, this will basically open up in split screen mode for you. So this saves time and makes multitasking effortless, especially helpful when you're on the go and need split screen access fast. Feature number five is where you can see more icons on edge panel with good luck module. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use Samsung's good luck module, like the edge touch or the home up where you can expand the number of icons visible in your edge panel. So as you can see right now, there's only this many icons. However, if you scroll down, you'll see other icons. But if you want to fit all of those icons in one screen here, then let me show you how to do this. So first, you want to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. This is something similar to Play Store. However, this is the Samsung version. Here, you need to go ahead and search for an app called Good Luck. Go ahead and install this app. 
Once installed, open it. Now in the GoodLock app, you're looking for the Home Up module, which is right here. Open that, turn the feature on, and then scroll down and find the Edge Panel option. Tap on this, turn it on, and here you need to go ahead and find Show More Items, which is right here. Turn this feature on. Now you wanna go ahead and press Home. Now when you look at your Edge Panel, you'll see more icons appear, and they'll all appear on one screen right here. So this gives you access to more apps without scrolling. It's ideal for power users or anyone who wants more control over their app layout. Feature number six is where you can add and organize apps on Edge Panel. So you can customize your Edge Panel by adding or removing apps, rearranging their order to suit your workflow. So let me show you how to do this. To add more apps, you wanna go ahead and expand the Edge Panel. Next, tap on the pencil icon. And now from here, you can go ahead and choose all the apps you want to add. So let's just say, for example, the booking app, calculator app, calendar app, and so on. So this way you can go ahead and add it. You can go ahead and even change the layout. So if you want those apps to appear at the top, you can go ahead and move it this way. And this will move the app to the top. You can go ahead and move the app to the bottom and so on. If you don't want some apps, you can go ahead and just press the minus icon and this will basically remove it from the edge panel. So this way you're tailoring your edge panel to your daily routine. So whether for work, travel, or entertainment, everything you need is just a swipe away. And that's a wrap on your edge panel customization in One UI 7.0. These small tweaks can make a huge difference in how efficiently you use your Galaxy device. So whether you're multitasking, simplifying your interface, or just speeding up your access to favorite apps, these tips are all about getting the most out of your phone. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, drop a comment to let me know which customization you'll use first, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dive Samsung tips, one UI features and productivity tips and productivity tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.